I want to bring on to our broadcast now, India Today is Rajesh Pabar, who spent a lot of time on the northern borders of Israel with Lebanon. Remember, that's become a hot border as well. Rajesh, welcome. Uh, the Hezbollah has been escalating on the northern borders. We've seen uh, plenty of crossfire. Uh, you know, seven Israeli soldiers have already lost their lives so far in that crossfire. We understand over 20 Hezbollah terrorists have also been killed. Uh, you know, what, from your perspective, reporting there, Rajesh, is the possibility of that developing into a full-fledged war front? Because so far, it appears that the Hezbollah, obviously backed by Iran, is testing the Israeli forces. Could it become an all-out kind of front? Look, Shiv, there is a full possibility of this conflict escalating to a different new level because how this conflict between Hezbollah and IDF started was with an anti-tank missile fired by Hezbollah on an Israeli tank. Then we saw exchange of machine gun fire, mortar fire and some rocket fire between the two forces which later on escalated to artillery fire which has much longer range and can hit the targets much deep inside enemy territory. And now we heard yesterday Israel has carried out an airstrike on Hezbollah targets, so which is an escalation to a totally different level. And this trend points towards further escalation in coming days. And if it escalates further, Hezbollah gets fully involved. There is a possibility that even Iran gets involved directly or indirectly, like people are already saying it's a proxy war of Iran against Israel. Uh, Israel is not fighting Hamas or Hezbollah, it's fighting Iran, basically. It's a proxy war. And if that happens, right. I think escalation will be even further because U.S. warships stationed there, we have heard they might land almost 200,000 Marines on Israeli soil. That will be boots on ground and that will certainly lead to further escalation. Shiv. Is there a possibility, taking from what you said, Rajesh, the possibility of any direct kind of involvement from Iran? Because so far, they've been using their proxies, whether it's the Hamas, the Hezbollah, the, you know, the Houthi militants in Yemen as well, who had fired cruise missiles that were intercepted by a U.S. Uh, ship. Uh, is there a possibility, seeing where things are going, uh, that things could be dramatically different this time and see any kind of direct involvement of Iran? Look, uh, not as yet, but as I said, if the things escalate between Israel and Hezbollah, at some stage, I think America will put their Marines on ground. There'll be American boots on Israeli soil. If any of the American <clears throat> Marines get hurt in that or get killed by fire from Hamas or Hezbollah, I think Americans will come directly into it. And maybe to support Hezbollah, that's a time we might see the entry of Iran, not like ground forces coming in, but certainly missiles coming from Yemen. Houthis, you see, is a proxy of Iran, as you said, and they have really heavy, heavy uh, missiles, which can create a lot of destruction. And also they might supply even more weapons to Hezbollah because Hezbollah is 100% Iran supported and of course financed by Qatar. So we can see an escalation coming days and I see it coming. It's a matter of time when it comes, but it will come for sure. It looks like that, Shiv. And that's what, uh, you know, the U.S. also appears to be preparing for. And that's the reason why uh, even more anti-missile defense systems are being deployed in this particular region. The threat of cruise missiles, conventional strength that is definitely there in the hands of Houthi rebels as well as, uh, you know, the Hezbollah is most definitely a security threat as far as Israel is concerned.